What's up, everybody? How's it going? Sorry about the slight delay there. Let's let's jump right to the get the game here. Especially since I'm late. Oh, I don't have this front light on. We're playing cross code. Uh, we left off at the arena, so we're gonna check out the arena a little bit. I don't know how much we'll play at the arena. But we'll probably play some. There are some very good weapons here to buy. I'm hoping what I have is good enough to take me to the end of the game, but... Because I think once we start the final area, like, there's no leaving. But yeah, here's, like, the ridiculously amazing equipment that you can buy. It's also level 65 stuff, though, and I think my character is, like, level 52. So, uh... I'm not even, like, a high enough level to reasonably be equipping that crap. So I don't know if we'll, if we'll bother trying to buy that, but also, like, I don't want to get stuck in the final area just farming levels because I have no way of getting better equipment, you know? But not just the, those little stat increases don't do much compared to getting new equipment. <laughs> Welcome to Rhombus Arena. Seeing as this is your first time here, would you like an introduction? Sure. Select a cup. Shows his name. A trophy to have unlocked. Info page shows a summary of your progress. Below you can see how many arena coins you have obtained, win coins by clearing rounds. Selecting a cup, you can see all rounds the cup includes. Each round shows the name in the middle you have achieved. <coughs> Rush mode will put you against all rounds without stopping and limit healing. To the left you can see a summary of your progress in each round. You can also see what score you need to achieve to obtain a silver gold medal. Press left or right to see the second page, which shows bonus points and conditions. LB, RB to switch between single cups and team cups. Okay, there's only one team cup. It seems like it would be a good thing to like have had throughout the game to do. Oh my god, dungeon boss cup. That sounds hard as balls. <laughs> it's got the whale in there too, oh my god. Yeah, that, that seems... <laughs> oh, that's only at three swords difficulty, too, by the way. Okay, it has more than just the four main bosses. It's also got, like... Oh, no, Heavy Turret's the main boss. If I could Digmo, it's not a main boss, is it? Oh, wait, Heavy Turret's not the main boss. The Digmo it is. I don't recognize all these names, but... But yeah, they have Son of the East and Sound of the East and Ancient Guardian. That is fucking nutty. Anyways. Let's check out... Let's just try Rush Mode on um, Rookie Cup here. Although I recommend level 55, which we are not. And this is level 60, level 60. Let's try the Rookie Team Cup. That may be a little easier. Do I have my team with me, though? I don't think I do. There are rounds once to get a trophy. Okay, hold on, is it gonna <laughs> let me build a team real quick, or is it just like, oh, well, you forgot to put your party together. Yeah, yeah, you gotta put your party together before you go. Luckily, it doesn't cost anything to enter, so we're not losing anything by leaving. Let's see, party, Citron. Emily Nature. All right, let's go shop. My fists are itching. Fire? Nope, nothing. 
felt like it should have been overkill, and yet it was not. some of these waves. doing like a ton of damage to these guys. The question is, is this like around the damage I'm probably gonna do to the enemies in the like secret area? Or not secret area, but the final area. Uh because I would guess yes. was all round one. Holy lord. Okay, I thought we had moved into round two during that. So we'll probably attempt this literally this one time, and that'll be it <laughs> for the arena. This is probably going to take us a long time already, unless I fail very quickly. It's cool that there's this much, like, just combat uh, encounters. This many combat encounters? I don't know. This much combat content for people to afford that they're super into it and just want the hardest challenge as possible, like fighting all the bosses in a row, which seems insane to ever want to do. Some of those bosses are very frustrating. All cool designs. Cool, like, puzzly kind of Zelda boss fights, but also the execution on them is rough. I can't imagine doing all of them. It would take me forever. I'm sure I could do it, but it would take me very long. This is, by the way, sadly the last day of my vacation. If you want to drop an F in the chat, I'd appreciate it. Back to the uh, good old Walmart tomorrow. Now, I have changed positions since I was last at work, so I am very hopeful that this new position is considerably less stressful than my last one. I'm no longer any kind of manager. So I am guessing it'll be less stressful. It's a job that I've already done a ton as a manager. Because they constantly call me over to help. Basically I'm grabbing uh, items for online customers. I haven't done every facet of the job, but what I understand is like, hello Smurfy. Smurfy and Snow, how you guys doing? I'm just bitching about work here. Well, 
that is, uh, say most employers at this point give vacations, unless you're like working for a private employer. I don't know. Most big corporations give vacations. If you're working for something that's not a giant corporation, then you know, that's a good thing in and of itself. But yeah, we're, I don't know how much I realistically care about getting better equipment here, especially since the equipment is such a high level that I can't equip it. I might even get experience from these fights either, I'm not sure. I'll find out after I kill this guy. Pay attention. But I don't think I am, right? Okay, well, I can't see there. But that's fine. sell here. The equipment's level 65, I'm level 52. So if I can afford a piece after this one arena that we're doing, then that's great. I'll probably buy a piece just to have it for if I hit any level close to 65, where I can afford to take off something else and put on a level 65 piece here while we're in the final dungeon. But otherwise we'll just do this one and call it good. You know, it's finally starting to get a little chilly outside. It was very cold in this room when I walked in, but it does not take long of streaming to get out of sight. now? I mean, I know, I guess I know it is. Or are you doing post-game stuff, I guess is the question. I don't know what the post-game is like outside of the arena. Oh, you're playing again? Okay. Oh, these sharks I can never get used to. Actually, a big part of why I stopped doing these side quests because there was a quest where I had to kill a bunch of them that were trying to attack the container, and I could not figure it out. I'm thinking 
against wind and ice. Of course, I don't have a container self to worry about here, so I can kind of let them do. Let my allies do a lot of work here. Look at that, I got that break. Jab the fellas. I gotta take out my assembly. Oh, what? How did I miss that? That was pretty dumb. I think you have to hit them while they're in the air, right? But, there we go. I don't know, I just could not keep that container alive in that one side mission. Also, I was just getting exhausted to side missions, in general. It's not like it was literally just these stupid sharks. But they were a big part of it. Not gonna lie. Come on. Should I parry that? Is that one better? Yeah, that tree is rough. The monkey is especially rough. I'm not a fan. I was like, I wait against fire. No, it's ice. Why are you using fire against like a... Oh, that's right. You gotta burn him first. Okay. Man burn, man burn. What's this guy we against? So far, I haven't been to the last area yet. Oh yeah, fire. Yeah, they sure take a lot of fire to break, huh? Then you want some ice, right? Oh, god. Oh, god. Well, here's where we die, fellas. Ladies and fellas. Everybody. Oh yeah, I can use items in here. Too late. Oh, I got it. I know you lose score or whatever for it, but that's fine. Oh, you also lose score for elemental overloading. And for just taking too long, which I feel like I've been doing this fight forever, so. Probably already lost plenty of time just off of being super slow, but not. Zero points. Oh my god, Elemental Overload takes away 10,000 points. That's crazy. These guys have a weakness. Which makes sense, because they're in an area before you even have any elements. Oh yeah, 
I always forget about dash arts. I probably use them more often. More points than last time, zero, but still, still bronze. like he was trying to dash at somebody to do the weird, like, break attack, but then he just did it. Okay. Yes, this is my first time doing the arena. Just got enough for the pets. Yeah, you get pets. I don't think they do anything, they're just aesthetic. But still, they're there. Terribly, it's a lot of frickin' birds. They are no good. Oh my god, I just got one boat so hard. Ugh, that's her. I already gotta get a sandwich. Off to a really bad start here. for the snub. Sorry, snow, just snow. I just read the name. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the dream team. Oh my god. Oh, never mind, that was a 
for a genetics as a gift. Okay. I always forget I gotta look at the chat. If it's your one, so thank you, Victorian Genetics. Because <laughs> it still pops up the notification is always the person's name, not the person who's up. Still, welcome to Dream Team Snow. And thank you, Genetics, for the gifts up. Ah! That one counted on its own for the sub goal. Uh, which is weird. Like, resubs don't automatically count for the sub goal. Even though I actually reached out to Streamlabs and they're like, oh yeah, they totally count. But they don't. I always have to manually reset the counter. Anytime a resub comes through. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, both of my friends are dead. Cool. But I don't think they respawn automatically. Well, this is the end for us, folks. I can't even get in a position to heal. That's fine. Uh, no, we'll just get up. Do I get anything for all of that? Or because it was rush, I get nothing. Like if I check in here and I go team cup. Okay, no, I still got the. Metals there. Okay, so I've earned the arena coins from those still. So how much did we get total from that? 1700. Enough for nothing! Not even a 2500 pets. Good lord. Well, you know what? I feel like just going to the next dungeon. Sapphire Ridge. I don't know. Smurfican says I did. But then he says yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Being a sub gives you access to emotes, of which I currently only have one. I still need to uh, contract out for some more. Just add this one. Oops. Put it in there twice. Just because. Where is... Uh, then you get a badge next to your name, and that's about it. Mostly it's about supporting the stream. Where... Oh, right, I need to just teleport. God, I don't even remember. The teleport is from the dojo, right? Let's go back to... Or hideout? Or can I just... Oh, it's still kind of... I can just teleport here, right? No, I can't. It's just teleport there. I gotta teleport to Old Dojo first. Which is Sapphire Ridge. Whoa, what's up, Crater? How's it going, man? I'm just playing some very late game crosscode. Okay, I gotta disband my party, that's right. <laughs> Teleporting Dojo crashed my game, oh good lord. Bunch of shabby, just finishing up my homework for the night. Well, thanks for the follow, creator, much appreciated. So I can get this up gaming myself, nice. What have you been playing lately, creator? Here, right? Hello, Genli. Do you think you're prepared to execute the plan? Mind that once we start, things will have to move quickly. So, are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna make a backup save. In case things really are just impossible and I need to gr come back and grind for gear and stuff. Okay, and then actually, let's save over the other one too. So that no matter which one we leave as the backup, it will be a okay.
All right, then. Let's get everyone together. Started streaming RE4 a few days ago. Oh, nice. I've only played through that game once. Uh, I could use a rewatch. Well, I've also seen Game Informer's playthrough, but that was, like, at the same time I was playing it. I'll have to give you a follow. Recommends level 60? Armor-wise? Oh, God. That's not gonna go well. Oh, whatever. I'll follow, you. I'll follow you after stream, Crater. Because I do like watching some horror games. Specifically, survival horror, like Resident Evil. Okay, where to start? I looked a bit more into the technical side of things. The Evatar server is more like most likely derived from an old version of the official game servers. That means it should be vulnerable to a certain DOS attack we experienced in the past. Oh, using the hit stun overflow issue? Correct. Now please for us common folk common folks too. Well in other words, there is a way to make the Evatar server crash. Crash very, very badly. Once it happens, Sidwell will have a hard time restarting it. Thus the server will not respond to anything, including queries with data. That will give us enough time for Lee to reach it physically. That sounds very promising. So how exactly will it work? How do we make it crash? The keys are the Evotars running around Vermilion Wasteland. We need to subject them to a certain type of field effect, as many and as quickly as possible. If we succeed, things should overflow on the server making it crash. That's why I plan to involve a few of the players, specifically those Lee has met before, involving other players. I suppose it's a risk we have to take. I currently see no other options, unfortunately. So what about me? I can't enter the official playground, but I can move around Vermilion Wasteland. Should I help? Hmm, I think it would be better if you avoid logging into the game while we storm the Evatar ground. Since Sidwell is aware of your current location outside the game, you need to be quickly relocated. Otherwise, things will end with him taking you hostage. Right. There is the real life side of things as well. One last thing, did you manage to talk with Gotham? I tried. He has been acting very strange, even more strange than usual, and that's saying a lot. Once I mentioned Lee, he started raving about how she managed to escape his dungeon tower. I guess he really left an impact. <laughs> no overgrown. Anyway, I decided I'd better not tell him too much. Really, he's pretty much turned into a nutcase by now. That is worrisome. We will see if we can drag him out somehow. I know a few people from the maintenance crew that will be able to help us with this. Good, then how do we proceed? For now, we should call it day. As soon as I have everything prepared, Lee and I will try to gather the other players. And once we have the help we need, we start with the plan as soon as possible. Alright, let's give it our best shot. That we will. See you soon. Good night. Bye. Let's see what um, Lee, should we log out now? Wait. You seem to like this place. Well, are you nervous? Same for me, really. This plan is very risky. There are so many things that could potentially go wrong. Why? Um, sorry, building confidence is not exactly my strong suit. By now you probably already guessed it, but I plan to involve the other First Scholar members. We will need their help to properly execute the plan. That also means I have to explain the full situation to them, and tell them about you. I understand that you are nervous about this, but there really is no way around it. And I am pretty positive they will understand. Trust me on that, you are no stranger to them anymore. Also, here is something I should have said a long time ago. Thank you, Lee. We had such a long journey together. You went through such a number of hardships, and you always kept going. Really, I could not have imagined a better partner. Ah, uh, Lee? So what about now? Ready to log out? Bye. Good night, Lee. That was a nice scene. She responds. Good morning. She looks scared. Well, it might be due to your appearance. I suppose. One moment, then. This should be more casual. Can't you speak? Hmm, that's something we need to look into. But you still seem to understand us, don't you? Interesting. 
A mute woman that can still listen. How nostalgic. Huh? Say, do you remember your name? So, what should we call you then? How about Lee? Here are images of different landscapes. Do you remember what forests look like? Well then, can you point at the image showing forests? That's correct. Do you remember basic, concept, basic concepts pretty well already? So what about yesterday's sign? Can you still do it? You forgot already? Oh dear. Is there any sign you remember? Oh, that's where she learned sign language. Well, that's something. It's pretty clear now that it's not just your speech that's missing. Writing things down doesn't work. And we only get so far with hand signs. It's like you're missing the ability to recall words or any abstract concept. Lee, it's okay. Please don't feel bad about this. Hello, Lee. Always the same. Isn't it funny how it always goes the same way? All the support I gave them, all the things I did, it suddenly doesn't matter. Just because of conflicting ideals. And all at once, things have to go hostile. Sorry, this really shouldn't concern you. <laughs> Thank you, Crater. Appreciate it. Yeah, that, that's actually a good reminder. You can still donate to my extra life if you are so inclined and the money goes to Phoenix Children's Hospital. There's no more, like, incentives to buy or anything with it anymore, but still appreciate the money. So, any more hand signs you remember? Appreciate the money for charity. Yeah, I should clarify. I get none of it, nor do I want any of it. All right, so you can still count. That is something you picked up rather quickly. Oh, back to trying this again? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. You won't need this for any of the signs. What is it? Do you want me to tell you more about her? Well, we met through work several years ago. She was competent, hardworking, mute, but that didn't stop her from doing her job. We communicated via writing at first, then I learned sign language. But even then, she never was much of a talker. Just very, very good at listening. My job was all about having good relationships. I've met so many people, always busy keeping up connections. Yet, it was also very shallow. With her, it was different. She was one of the few people I could speak openly to. It's similar with you. I suppose I just get along well with mute people. Cause I can't talk back to you, ass. <laughs> so what, we're just humans? The world's most self- So what, we're just humans. The world's most self-absorbed creature. We really like to think highly of ourselves. And sure, we certainly came and went far. But in the end, we are just another kind of creature lost in this vast universe. Lee, do you remember what a clear sky looks like at night? Out in the countryside, no town or city nearby? I hope one day you will. It is like a boundless sea of stars. When you see it, you start to realize just how insignificant we are to this world. It is done. My final creation. Time to put an end to this. All of this. Good morning, Lee. Hi. Did you sleep well? Well then, time to get everyone together. How? I am happy you asked. I worked really hard and managed to add a couple more words to your vocabulary. Meat? Meat? I am sure that will help getting everyone together, correct? Meet Lee. Exactly. But wait, there's more. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Well then, let us call the others. The goal is to get everyone to assemble in the meeting room at the First Scholar HQ. Let us move there first, shall we? Of course nobody's here. That would have been too easy. Well then, let us try to contact everyone via dealing. Time to use your new voca vocabulary. Hi. Oh, bonjour, Lee. It's good to still see you in the game. Trani has been offline for several days now. I suppose he's gone for good. 
He didn't even say goodbye, that dork. Oh well, so what's up? Should we start a party? Meet. Pardon? Meet Lee. Um, you wanna meet? Where should we meet? Lee, wait. Um, oh, you'll wait, you'll wait to meet at your current location? Well then, let me check. Ah, you're at the headquarters. I'll be right there. Thanks. You're surprisingly talkative today, Shetty. See you soon. Bye. Hey, that worked better than I expected. Oh, hello, Lee. Hi. Sorry. Huh? Lee, sorry. Um, oh, you mean about what happened before? Lee, it was just a hug. Don't worry about it. It wasn't even that strong. No broken spine. All good. <laughs> no, really. It's all yesterday's snow to me. Meet Lee. Um, what now again? Meet Lee. Um, I don't know. Don't you think it, this is a bit too soon? Just one hug and now you want to meet me privately in there? Why? I'm <laughs> just messing with you. Uh, like I'm, I'm sorry. Do you want to have a meeting with all First Scholar members? He's just being a goofball. Alright, I can get everyone together if you like. Thanks. No worries. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. That's nice. Great. Schneider helping out will make this a lot easier. Honestly, I would have asked Albert to get everyone together, but it seems he is not online yet. Let us hope he will show up soon. Well then, next let us call Apollo and Jorn. We need all the help we can get, Lee. Hi. Hello, Lee. Spearmancer Lee, it's good to see you. Lee meet. Excuse me? Meet, meet Lee. I think she wants us to meet her. So, does this mean you're ready for our next duel? building for an HQ. I like it. Why, thank you. So finally, I meet the famous grasshead I've heard so much about. The name's Apollo, tribe leader. By the way, aren't we all just grassheads of different colors? Nahaha, <laughs> you're right. Well, at least I have the color of fresh grass. Yes, but I'm the wise grasshead. Listen to your elder green horn. Alright, screw these metaphors. Hi! Quiet, everyone. Let's hear what Lee has to say. Lee, meet... I'm loving it so far. Leave the hologram number. I forgot the number. Um, hello everyone. Stockley Blue. Lee, who is that guy? I was just... Emily, just let him talk. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Sergei Asimov, and I am here to explain Lee's circumstances to you. All of you should be aware of her speech module issues by now. However, there's another aspect of Lee you are probably unaware of. Lee is an AI. Her avatar is controlled by an artificial intelligence. What? You're joking. Sphere Mancer Lee, does this man tell the truth? Sorry. No way, that can't be true. You definitely fooled me. So wait, does that mean a bot managed to join our guild? Ha <laughs> ha this is amazing. Lee, dear, so are, are you an NPC? I'm very confused right now. Lee is a regular avatar, controlled by a very special kind of AI. Allow me to start from the beginning. We finally met Satoshi and Suzuka, hidden somewhere in Sapphire Ridge. That is how we learned everything and how we could come up with a plan. A plan to storm Vermilion Wasteland to reach the Evotar server. And that is where we are right now. Damn, what a convoluted situation. Spearmancer Lee, I, I don't know how to respond to this. All this tech talk just went way over my head. But what was this part about punching through dungeon walls? That sounded awesome. I'm still so, so confused. Don't worry, hun. The situation is very particular. Okay, and now this is where you come in. In order to properly storm the Vermilion Wasteland, we need your help. So please, for the sake of Lee and all Evatars, can we count on your support? We oui, count me in! Lee is a dear friend to me. She can be an AI or a loaf of baguette for all I care. Of course I'll help her. You're right, Lee is a member of this guild and we should support her. I mean, sure, the situation is crazy and storming Vermilion Wasteland might get us into trouble. But how often do you get the chance to break into unfinished game territory, am I right? True words, my dude. This sounds like a crazy kind of raid. I'm not sure I can approve of all this rule-breaking behavior. However, the way Evotars are currently treated is a disgusting display of injustice. By my name and the honor of the Spheromancers, this cannot stand. Second, very true. We first scholars cannot abide such cruelty. 
Wait, you have our support. Indeed. Also, everyone get down from that table. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that was a good shit. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Honestly, I never expected this amount of enthusiasm. I am very glad we have you on our side. Now we just have to find a good time that fits everyone. The sooner the better. It's the weekend and I have time. Let's do it today. Let's. Yes, let's storm Vermilion Wasteland. Sure, today's good. I was planning to do some shopping today. That was a joke. <laughs> Alrighty, today it is. Fantastic. Then let us meet in about an hour in front of the dojo in Sapphire Ridge. The entrance to Vermilion Wasteland is nearby. Also, before you leave, we should try to establish a direct communication channel. Please give me a moment. We are all set. Now I can talk directly to all of you. Nice. Then I'll quickly optimize my equipment and gather a few items. See you soon. Alrighty. Al and I better prepare as well. See you soon. Um, Sergey, quick question. You said there was an Evotar copy of me in Evotar, uh, Evotar Gram? Potentially interrogated? Yes, that is correct. Oh, Jun. I better log out and quickly change all my credentials. I'll meet you in Sapphire Ridge. So your mancer leave, we shall prepare as well. We'll show them what it means to deal with the wrath of the Spheromancers. Lee, Sheri. Now I finally understand what has been going on with you. You really must miss him, no? That other Lucas in Evotar ground. We'll get him out of there, promise. Damn it! I'm gonna kick Sidwell's derriere so hard he'll never sit well again. Ah, gotta prepare. Yeah, Snow made sure I did that, uh, last Wednesday. I guess that is it. We are all set. Let us meet with everyone else at the dojo in Sapphire Ridge. We better be prepared as well. Okay, so they actually do give you another chance to prepare. That's nice. So you were saying, um, snow equipment level 60? Because I am sure as hell not prepared for that. If that's what we're looking at. But I'm also only level 52 to begin with, so it's like, getting level 60 equipment is not going to help me if I'm level 52. But again, we can always just make a safety save and it'll be fine. Just double save here, we'll have a safety save here to go where we need to. Shizuka tells you if you call her? Oh, weird. Well, let me call her right now. Maybe that was earlier that I could have called her. She is level 60. Oh yeah, everybody's like 57 to 60-ish. Wow, Beowulf. Beowulf and Hlin are in their 70s. But yeah, everybody's definitely a way higher level than me. Where would I even go to gain XP? I mean, usually the current area that I'm in is the best area to gain XP. Is there any good equipment in the new area? Vermilion Wasteland? That I could grab there, maybe? Yeah, but I, I assume you're right, because everybody else is level 57 plus. But whatever, we have a couple saves here. We can... An hour left of the stream. How long is this last? These last few missions. I don't know how how long how many missions are, are left. Get one of those boosters. Oh yeah. But even that sounds like it would take some serious time. Did I ever get the ability to go in here? To observe those who seek all elements is our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, then only what is broken can open this door. I mean, I have all the elements. What if, I don't know what that means. I'm sure somebody else knows what it means. It's not important. I just noticed it. I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna gun it, I guess. If the last couple missions are only like two hours and I could finish the stream next time, then maybe we could spend an hour powering up here though. It all depends. Promise is a promise quest? I don't know if I have one. Yeah, 
know a promise is a promise if I need to. Don't think it was overly long, but it was also a bit overleveled. It's a decent length. I think I'm only at 30 some odd hours. I mean, it's as long as an RPG. Not even, really. Uh, now, I don't know how I'm at 30 hours and 48 minutes when this is episode... Was this 17? I don't remember. Episode 17, and all my episodes have been two hours, so... Uh, probably just from dying and reloading a lot. Three hours worth of it, apparently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it also depends on how many side quests you do. I did a lot at the beginning. It took me probably like 16 hours to get to the first area, which is like over here, where I was doing all the side quests. 16 to 20 hours, probably, something like that. Much faster to get through the stuff like up here and over here, because I was not doing all the side content. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go to... The dojo for now. You know what? Let me Google real quick. In fact, I'll bring this over here so we're all looking at it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna Google over here. Because I'm self conscious about my Googling, apparently. What is it? We're on chapter 10, right? So, how long is chapter 10, I guess, is the question. Oh, okay, there is no actual point of no return. Except for right before the final fight, so... That's good. Okay, so there's no reason to even be worried about it. Even though they make it sound like you're hitting a point of no return right now. Hi, and we've all gathered and are ready. Good, then let us reveal the secret entrance. Whoa. Here we are. This cave will directly lead to Vermilion Wasteland. It really is here. A whole new area of the playground. This is exciting! Now this is the last chance for everyone to prepare. Once we go through here, there is no turning back. We will have to act quickly to catch Sidwell by surprise. <laughs> See, they're, they're very specifically saying this is the point of no return. I, may, maybe that was an early access version that there was no point of no return, and they added it later. I don't know. We have safety saves, so everything's fine. It's just very confusing. Will you please enter the cave once you feel ready to start? Are you ready to storm Vermilion Wasteland? Sure. The time has come. Let us proceed through the cave and assemble right before the exit. I will give you further instructions on what to do when we are there. Alrighty, let's go, everyone. I assume this is... Oh, no, it's not instance. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is cool. Hi, Lee. Hi. Man, it's still so hard to believe that you're an AI. Wait, does that mean you understand binary? 00111001010111. I have no idea what it means. You tell me. Really, though, this is all very exciting. You have my vote for best newbie of the year. Wait. So, did I get that right? My clone is still over there in Evotar ground? Oh, Zhum, this is such a weird situation. We both just barely know each other, right? Yet that other Lucas seems to be quite dear to you because of what you both experienced together. It really shows how much your life is shaped by happenstance. Also, I really wonder what would happen if I met my clone over there. Oh, I suppose I better be careful about that. Oh yeah, he'll lose his shit. Just like Lee did. I think that was it, Snow, maybe? Are you gonna Google what it means? Or do you know what it means? Do you know binary? Lee, dear, hi! This whole situation is so hard to grasp for me. You know, we enjoy games like Crossworlds because they allow us to live a fantasy. So that for a moment, we can forget about all the worries of real life. Yet all of this suddenly became very real, didn't it? You could say that our fantasy is in fact your reality, eh? 
Now then, that's all the more reason to fight for your cause. Thanks. You're welcome, dear. Good day, Lee. Hi. You really are by far the most human-like AI I've experienced. You passed the Turing test with flying colors. Lee. Let us hope that Ivan thinks the same way. I really do, do hope that we'll be able to create a place for Evatars like you here in Crossworlds. Thanks. <coughs> What's up, Stubbs? How's it going, man? Poor girl. You must have had a hard time not being able to talk and not knowing about yourself. It probably didn't help that Polly kept bothering you on top of that. <laughs> but really, Lee, you're a strong girl. From what Sergei told, told us, you really have gone through a lot. You really must have gone through a lot. Yet here you are, still happily saying hi to everyone. Hi! Just like that. It's always a joy to play together with you. Plus, it was very entertaining to watch you beat up Polly like that. But don't tell him I said that. Spheromancer Lee. Lee. What is it? I'm calling you by your name now, am I not? Lee. Wait, do you want me to drop the Spheromancer as well? I'm afraid I'd never do that. It is a noble title every player of our class should wear with pride. Thanks. Alright, fine, but only this one time. Lee. So now that the truth is out, it seems I was right. From the very beginning, you have been cheating. However, given the circumstances of the time, I suppose it's fair to let it slide. Besides, Lee, I am actually very proud of you. You've grown into a prime example of a Spheromancer. Looking back, I have to say it has been an honor to have had you, had you as such a capable opponent. And indeed, you've shown me that there is still potential for me to grow as well. Thanks. Now it's time for our greatest act of justice so far. I hope you are ready. Lee! KQB practice. Nice. How goes the KQB practice? I know you smashed your last match. Crazy landslide. Hi, Lee Shetty. Now that I think about it, I really acted like the worst, no? I just kept poking you about your real life, like, all the time. Not to mention how I reacted after the raid. Er, I'm so, so sorry. I, I just didn't know any better, but still, I'm sorry. I just want you to know that you really are a dear friend to me. It doesn't matter if you are an AI or anything else. Thanks. It really is a bummer that Trani isn't around for all of this. He really is such a dork. A nice dork, though. Let's hope he will show up again eventually. Alright, listen everyone. Behind this door lies Vermilion Wasteland. Let us quickly discuss how we will proceed from here. Our goal is to assemble. Oh, Our goal is to assemble as many Evatars as we can find, get them close to the quest hub to the east, and then subject them to a certain field effect. We need to do this as fast as possible. That's why I suggest we split in three teams. Team A will run straight to the quest hub and deal with all Evatars of that area. I suggest that Lee is part of that team. Then I'll join Team A as well. Lucas, you too. No more level excuses. All right. Good. Then we need two more teams tasked with gathering all Evatars of the area and leading them to the quest hub. Team B will take care of the forest in the north, and Team C the river delta in the south. Jordan and I will take care of the forest. Alrighty, that leaves Buggy, Al, and me for Team C. Perfect, we're all set. Everyone get ready. Operation start! Wow, he's excited. Just was given tape, which is the best. I want to get a little beat up in practice, yeah. Last match was great, nice long five rounder. <laughs> I did not know your name was Chris Crater. What's up? What up, fellow Chris? I feel like there was another Chris in the community as well. I'm sure there are plenty of other Chris in the community, but one another one that I remember seeing, but I'm not sure. Whoa, what a gloomy place. How unexpected. Now I really wonder about the history of this location. There's time for that later. We need to hurry. Dum dum dum. Sidwell. Hm. What a large company. Unexpected. Hey, is this that Sidwell guy? 
You all should be perfectly aware that this area is off-limits. Leave at once unless you want all your accounts to be suspended. Everyone, do not listen to him. You cannot risk reporting this through official channels. Foul villain, your empty threats will not stop us. We, nothing will turn us back now. So what is it you are after? The server? It will be impossible for you to reach. And even if you did, its data will be lost before you get there. And then you'd lose the sole copy of every Evotar, including Satoshi. That's right, the Evotar server is your last hostage, a hostage you can't afford to lose. You'd be wise not to overestimate my attachment to all of this. Anyway, I'll humor your attempts. But I won't let you stroll around unhindered. The barrier is down. Time to split up, everyone. Onwards! To the forest. Good luck, everyone. Mandu, what are those robot thingies? The barriers are connected to those enemies. We need to get rid of them to proceed. Okay, I'm guessing this guy is weak to ice. Well, let's check. Yep. And that one must be weak to fire. Surprise! Definitely giving a lot of XP. You're gonna level up pretty quickly here. 100 each. To the quest hub! Or no, wait, that 50 something each. Total 156. 52 each. Okay. We're doing lots of puzzles and stuff over here. That'll be good time. Oh boy. Okay, so these ones are weak to wind, and the other one to lightning, right? Yep. Evotars. Hey you, you should go to the quest hub. Huh? Um, they got amazing loot there. Go there if you want to get out of here. Quick, there's just this one chance. Really? Quest hub, you say? Huh, that worked well. You <laughs> tried loot. That's funny. These guys don't care about loot. Quick, move to the marker. Holy friggin' lasers! <laughs> These markers will catch the laser beams. Use them for your protection. All right, Lee, we are ready to start. Here's what you need to do. Listen closely. Our goal is to zap every Evatar in this area. For every three Evatar, there are three steps to follow. First, you need to defeat a nearby Shredder unit to start the fixation routine. Second, move the defeated Shredder close to the Evatar to fixate it. Third, the fixed Evatar needs to be hit by the laser. If you can't find any Evatars, standing on laser catchers will make them point at the nearest one. Standing on laser catchers. That is all. Go. Okay, I didn't completely understand that. But... This music's good. Oh god. Where's the laser thing? Okay. These are the laser catchers, I see. Okay, yeah, I see. It's pointing to the nearest one. Okay, fixate it. I need to struck by a laser. How do I do that? There we go. Got him. There's a, another one. Up here, friends. Right here. Laser! Hello, 
closer to the Evo targets. Hopefully that's close enough. Okay, I'm just doing conversation. Ah, uh, struck the wrong thing. Strike me, laser! I need to stay on the laser thing. That was foolish. Man, he sure likes running around. Making it hard for me, huh? Okay, I'm gonna make sure they die while he's over here. Oh, stay! Stay! The hug, the bastard. Where are you going? Okay, no, he's a fixation routine, it looks like. Okay, there we go. Laser me! Should eat a sandwich. I'm doing a very bad job at this, but it's working. Stream answer leave. We found more players in the forest. Good. You can look for more Evatars further to the east. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop in my corner. That's a good idea. Get lasered! There's one. Do we need to get up there? Or can we do it from down here? I assume we can do it down, 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 down. Oh, Okay. It's on fixation routine. There we go. Got him. Ah, a new one. Oh, there's one right here. Guys, man, do it over here. Bring the enemies over here. There we go. Okay. Sup, we brought more Evatars from along the river. Good. Please join Apollo and Jordan in the east of the town. Already. Met laser! Turn. Seems like the fixation routine thing lasts a long enough time that you don't really have to make sure they're in the right spot. Oh, oh come back here. Laser mate. There you I gotta hit him up there. Too slow. Damn. Is there a fast? Okay, I can do some pretty fast platforms to get up there. Look at this. Oh no! I forgot I gotta make the laser land on the thing. Fixated or not. This guy's almost ready. Oh, there. Okay, fixated. Gotta get up there. Oh, 
Looks like we got them all in this area. Emily, Lucas, you both stay here and make sure that no enemies interfere with the Evatars. Lee, you head to the east and join with the others. We got this area covered. Good luck over there, Shetty. Lee. Level up. 53, almost 54. Stream answer Lee. There are still several players left in this area. Alright, let us zap them right here. another attack it does, but that was just normal dodgeable. Get over there. Fixate that bitch. No, land a fixate faster. Next one Evatars in here. Great, please join Emily and Lucas in the west. They're defending the Evatars. No, 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 no! Oh boy, one up there and one right here. Oh, I thought I dodged that. I think I'm about to get lasered. Yep. Find a few more strolling around up here. Nice. Please join the defense in the west. Right on my way. No! Oh, double. Okay, we gotta find... Oh, god damn, I gotta <laughs> navigate this puzzle right now. Well, also avoiding lasers and enemies. Bouncing off of the guy that's like in the corner there. God, that's lame. I can't get up through there. Okay, whatever. I need them to come up here. 
means I have no laser protection near the guy that I need laser. So I gotta work fast here. And I say as I work very slowly. Oh, get me out of there! Not bad. Come back up your enemies. Oh, you freaking a-holes. I gotta get back to the laser. Thing. Oh yeah, kill him down there. Good idea. No, let them come up here, please, you freaking fools. Oh, this is the other kind of lasers. Oh, this sucks. That guy died in such a bad spot, or got fixated, or whatever. Have a good night, Crater. Oh, finally broke up here. No, don't hit him that way. Cool. Oh no, that's a bad laser. Laser me. Laser me. Thank you. Okay, now how the hell? Is there get to that guy in the middle there. Oh well, there's somebody. No. Oh. God, they're all so far away from the actual, like, laser receptacle thing. Okay, now we're fixated. Give me that laser. Oh, sure. Got another one, like, in the middle there. I need to find some pipes to hop onto to start this freaking labyrinth. It's not actually worse, but it can't be blocked, is the problem. Like that. Oh god. Oh, there's a laser. Or a pipe, I mean. Does that get me anywhere, though? No. Okay, <laughs> that one's not very useful. No, get out of my way! Jerks. I'm using a lot of sandwiches. Way a long time ago. I don't remember how to get up there at all. Oh, uh, this is the other laser. Laser's gonna come down. Maybe not. Okay, maybe so. Good lord. Oh, right here. Of course. I have a shortcut to it and everything. Who's thinking, yeah. Thank you, Sam. Oh, wait. Uh, that's the wrong kind of laser. Oh, my God. That hurts. Oh, I have to jump back off. Fuck. That was some bullshit. Here comes the laser. No, don't kill them down there, you fools. Bring them over here first. Yeah, there's a laser thing right here. Looks like we caught all the Evatars in this area. We're close, but still not there yet. There have to be a few more Evatars somewhere. There are a few more Evatars over there, right in front of that tower. However, they seem to be stuck. I gotta get them to move over here. Stuck, you say? Stop right there, fiend. Albert, you help Apollo and Jorn defend this area. Lee and I will have to look at the tower. Have a look at the tower. Understood. Level up. Times two, actually. Time for a boss, I'm not ready. 
I don't know what you hope to achieve with this, but it is clear that your goal is to interfere with the Evatars of this area. I won't let you continue doing this as you please. Oh. Lee, I'm sure you didn't forget about one particular Evatar. Don't do this, you jerk. His well-being is still at my mercy. I will give you this one last chance to reconsider your current course. Lee, do not give in to his threats. The current plan is our best chance to rescue him. Lee! I suppose that means I can't change your mind. That's a shame. In any case, you're about to hit a brick wall. Lee, don't give up. We're this close. Oh my god. <laughs> I need my allies to carry me. Yeah, they're defended. Fixation failed. Managed to add a countermeasure already. Oops, I'm staying alive. You got it, bud. Oh no. Oh, hello. Sweet. That was an awesome entrance. So, it looks like you're still at it. Shizuka, what are you doing here? I'm here to help. What about, don't worry about me, I already moved locations in advance. I will be fine. More importantly, it looks like you need a hand here, Lee. Hi. Let's show them what we can do. Sweet. Carry me, lady. Okay, it's done. One of the shredders will be marked with yellow stars. Defeat those and push them towards the Evotars. They should be able to break the blockers. We might need several attempts, though. Good luck. Okay, there's one of the stars. Okay, yeah, several attempts. I see. Oh, no, ice. My ice. I thought this was ice. Have a durian, that's true. Oh boy, we gotta restart that. That's fine. Okay. Mm, Alright, I need 
need to break at least one of these guys before Lucas realizes something's wrong. I'm trying to save my good stuff like the durian for uh, the final boss if I can. Sweet, still at the entrance. Stars, yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's doing this laser. Try to actually break all these barriers before I even. Although it's hard to resist if one's already sitting there, you know. But I don't have to get him struck by a laser yet. But I'm guessing he won't advance his, uh. Like, do the triple lasers and whatnot until I break all these guys, right? Or until I start fixating these guys. Fixing them. Sweet. No more stars necessary. Oh yeah, it is! Oh shit! That was bad at the end, but it worked out. No more Evitars left, so what now? It seems like your plan didn't work out as expected, hmm? You've zapped every Evitar in the area. That is not entirely correct. There is one Evitar left. Well, what happened? Lee, is that you? Hi! Huh? Lee, now! Sorry. Lee, what's going? Ah! Uh -oh. oh, something is happening. They exploded, just like Emily back then. What? Is that what happened to me? Unexpected error. It seems that Yovatar server crashed. Justice has been served. That is some messed up justice, Polly. <laughs> Sergey, you did it. Bye. That was supposed to happen, right? Yes, we did it. We crashed the Evatar server. And everything exploded? Yes, but do not worry about the Evatars. Their data is still intact and can be recovered. Hmm. That was your plan, I suppose? The Evatar server has crashed, so I can't access it. Huh. 
Clever. Very clever indeed. I assume simply rebooting the server won't fix it either, will it? Ha ha ha! Really, I'm impressed. To think you'd go to that far, finding such an obscure loophole, just to recover some data. Some data, you say? You really don't hold even an ounce of respect for all the work we did over all these years, do you? Oh, I do, Shizuka. I most certainly do. The Avatar interrogation program has been a tremendous success. And it is thanks to all your efforts, I would never deny that. Then why? Why would you do all this to- why would you do all of this to us? Threaten us! Holding us hostage! Over all these years! Because you didn't leave me any choice. I only did what was necessary to uphold this business. You wanted to drop everything. Tell the authorities. Make me pay for my evil deeds. Conveniently ignoring the fact that we were all in this together. Please don't forget that we started off as partners. And we'd still be partners to this day if it wasn't for this one ideological disagreement. We are creating Evatars to extract information. And once that is done, we just throw them away. Kill them off. Evatars, they're not just some data. They have memories, personality, emotions. You are killing digitized human beings, Sidwell. What kind of monsters do you think we are to just go along with that? <laughs> Suzuka, we've had this discussion so many times already, I've grown tired of it. I've supported your research for many years now. I effectively enabled you to create Evatars in the first place. I made it so that Evatars have a place to exist at all. Ending this business would mark the end of every Evatar in existence. At once and forever. I do understand your concerns about how we abuse Evatars, but there are no other options. How else do you think we can generate revenue to Shizuka? Evatars are effectively illegal. Make anything of this public and instantainment instantainment will shut us down at once. We can only operate in the shadow of this company hidden in the playground. The black market of information is our only option. That is conveniently limited view if I ever heard one. Assuming that there is simply no way to find an agreement with this detainment, sure the company will be hard to convince. But you underestimate the achievements of Satoshi and the others have the achievements Satoshi and the others have made here. Those Evatars, they have the potential to change the world. Even instantainment might be able to understand this. But of course, things wouldn't be quite as much under your control once Evatars become public. Shock, obviously you'd like things to stay just the way they are. Yes, just what they said. 100 percent agreed. Fiend, your deceptive speech shall not blind us. We, now shut up and get down here in person. You're in for some punching. Pointless as usual. Now then, what next? I assume you plan to just walk up to the server, reboot it, and fetch the data, am I right? Well, I have bad news for you. There's a reason the server is located inside the tower. Inside a dungeon instance. I hold control over the environment server. I can clear the room instance of the server at any time, effectively removing the platform below it letting it fall and crash, rendering it unusable. No. That's right. The command to clear the data doesn't go through the Evatar server. It goes through the environment server. No, how could I forget about this? Now then, that was quite the fuss you put up there. Very entertaining to watch, but ultimately, all for nothing. We beg to differ. This tower, it is our domain, and therefore we will make the rules. The server will remain untouched until our final demand has been granted. Lee. Once the incomplete vessel, now filled with strength and determination, we are overjoyed to have you back. For we have prepared the ultimate challenge, the quintessential experience, just for you. The tower is waiting to be entered. Reach the top and you shall find the server you seek. We are thrilled to watch your ascent. Gotham, I can't believe this. Now of all times... Um, what is going on? Anyone? Who was that fancy looking blue guy? That was Gotham. Oh, that former colleague of yours? Correct. Seems he has taken control of the environment server. That is good, right? Now we might still get our chance to access the server. Yes, that is if Lee takes on his challenge by herself. One final dungeon. Lee, you gotta go and show them. That's what all our dungeon races have prepared you for. Stream answer Lee, I'm confident you're up to the task. And then, definitely. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, keep our safety save. Only save over that one. Still got a little over 20 minutes, so let's get started on this dungeon. Back in the tower dungeon. Looks like the interior has been changed quite a bit, though. We better avoid breaking through walls this time. We are here to take on Gotham's challenge, and I am sure he does not want us to cheat. Oh yeah, this is cool. These areas that I remember just like crashing through and not experiencing in the intended way. 
now I get to experience them the intended way. I probably go spend my circuit points. I'm sure I have quite a damn few uh, spent ones. No healing for you, sir. Fight these guys. Oh yeah, once they're sitting on the ground like that, I gotta hit them with ice or okay, or fire, depending. And then I have to make antivirus. And then the sky breaks. I think this is working. Fire. There we go. Get that fire set. Ah, I keep forgetting which direction is which element. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up! experience. That is why we create. Vast forests, majestic mountains, mysterious caves. Any place that can harbor a story and nourish a memory, we created it all. Oh boy, that is a long list there. The floors. Assuming it goes all the way to the end, it's like, what, ten? Maybe more floors? before I can hit it? Is that the idea? Weird. Okay, what does this one do? That brings down half of it, so... Okay. Oh no. Charge shot does move it. I guess I was just hitting it from a weird angle before. Okay. Uh, okay, so how do I set this up? Well, they 
might both go down if I hit it like that. No. Oh, okay, so I need to line this one up first, maybe? Oh no, because then that other one's stuck. Oh yeah, I was setting it into, like, walls, right? Yeah. Because that's the lineup I need right there, right? No, that's actually too low anyways. Okay, so what I need is... That's the only way I'm gonna get this lineup to go through here. Oh, now. I can also stack it, like, against right here to get it down there. But then it still only leaves me being able to get one down there, right? Because, like, this can basically just go in a circle right now. But then I still don't know how I get a second one stacked on top right here. There's a bomb over there. I don't know if that is for anything. Yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need, like, a fire element. Oh, well, that's to walk through these, though, I assume. Okay, the blocks, yeah, gonna block that fire right there. Okay. So, yeah, I do have to solve this block thing first. Okay, that's actually a perfect lineup as well. I just... Okay, and now I can move this one around, maybe? Is there a way to move it around? I feel like I'm close. These are not fresh for me. I don't think this one right here is too high. It looks pretty perfectly lined up right now. But this one, I can't get in there while that is there. But obviously, this lineup is too high. like the closest I've come for sure. It's not quite right. Wait, ooh, ooh, ooh. hold on. I can hit that up there. I can hit this back over here. This down here. Hit it over there. There we go. Got it. Am I supposed to hit it with fire to make it roll right? Do I want it to roll? I don't remember what the proper way to move these bombs around is. It has been a while. So I think they explode on a second hit no matter what, right? Yeah. Fire makes it go fast. So can I line it up and then shoot up a fire? There we go. Okay. Sweet. Now some conductor stuff and electricity. Pow. Meta. 
Let's see, I need the bomb to get up there somehow. Wait, the bomb's not gonna go through there though. So it needs to be like on top of a block. How's that gonna work? Of course, I've got my little electric thing here that's gonna go around the wall. That's currently hitting nothing, obviously. So if I can get it, get the bomb up there somehow, I can send fire through there. Right now I have them both electrified, I don't know that that matters. So I'm gonna put the bomb on this block, I assume? How's that gonna work? You can hit once with normal, then again with fire. Okay, so maybe this is just to get the electricity down after I'm done. And then do I just need to hit it with fire? I mean, I need a better angle to hit it with fire, though. Right. Let's, let's see how this reaction works real quick, then. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to bounce off the wall back. Stupid. Cause that, like, a sideways angle is not gonna work. It needs to be straight on. So how do I get that? How do I get an elevated straight on angle with a fire shot? Can I be standing on the platform? And when it goes up, it doesn't look like it'll let me on that platform. Not all the bombs on there. Well, let's try anyway. Oh wow, let me on the platform. Okay, it does indeed fall too far. Like, it doesn't go flying fast enough. So what do I need? Like, this in the middle to carry it? Or maybe even at the start, maybe, to carry it? Do I need, oh, maybe I need to actually hit it forward onto this with a normal hit and then use fire to send it flying. In which case, I need... I need that block right there, actually. So... Let's see how that works. Okay, still doesn't carry for an... Okay, so I need to get it up there. to shoot this forward? Will it explode far enough if I just shoot it forward, or do I need to somehow shoot it with fire again after? Let's find out. Hello! Oh, I fought this thing forever. I don't remember how to fight it. Cool. Really getting my ass handed to me, that's nice. Oh my god. We gonna die, boys! Do I need to be hitting this device, or is that just coincidence? Okay, yeah. Look pretty fiery, but... And also, it's firing fire! Oh my god, I'm so dead. Fire, 
that's a good point. Oh, what? I thought I was selling ice. I don't know why I would think that. That's what I thought. Ugh. Bosses were 61 experience. Okay. 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 So I need to hit both. Okay, I need to hit both sides before. It'll... But you know what? That's a really good stopping point. And it is 10 o'clock. And I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Yay! So we'll uh, call it there and we'll continue on Wednesday when we might be finishing the game. Who knows? If not Wednesday, then I am almost certain on Friday. Assuming we don't just like get our ass handed so hard, handed to us so hard by the final boss that we have to go grind. If that's the case, then uh, you know we'll do that. But I, I don't see this game lasting past Friday. Which is great. I mean, it's not great because it's a great game, but it's great because I need to play Paper Mario because I promised that to people because of the extra life uh, goal being met. So yeah, thank you everybody for coming, and uh, tomorrow is Spirit Fair, which we are also very close to the end of. I think we might finish that this week. That I don't have as good of an idea of when the end is. It just feels like we're close to the end. Uh, so yeah, join me for Spirit Fair tomorrow, cross code on Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you.